Nematodes frozen in Siberian permafrost came back to life after 46,000 years years some organisms have developed the ability to enter a state of metabolic pause called cryptobiosis when environmental conditions are unfavorable. This allows them to survive in extreme conditions for a very long time. The molecular and biochemical pathways that these organisms use are not fully understood. Scientists also do not know how long these creatures can enter such a state. Accurate dating of an organism released from the Siberian permafrost a few years ago shows that a certain nematode could survive in cryptobiosis for as long as 46,000 years. Years and then came back to life. In 2018, samples of sediments from the Siberian permafrost were collected. Scientists have found hundreds of creatures in them, frozen over the last tens of thousands of years. Samples taken from remote parts of northeastern Russia contained two different types of nematodes. The researchers placed them in petri dishes with the medium at 20 degrees Celsius. Within a few weeks of thawing, some individuals began to show signs of life. Preliminary studies have shown that these nematodes belong to the genera Panagrolimus and Plectus. The former were found at a depth of about 30 meters underground. Researchers believe that there was once a ground squirrel burrow in this place which sank and froze around 32,000 years ago. Years ago, those of the genus Plectus were found in a borehole sample from a depth of about 3.5 meters. Carbon dating showed the sample to be about 42,000 years old. Years. However, New analyzers showed that Panagrolimus individuals remained in cryptobiosis much longer. Researchers have suggested that for at least 46,000 years. Moreover, detailed genome studies and morphological analysis showed that they belong to a previously undescribed species which was named Panagrolimus colomynsis. The results and description of the research were published in the journal, PLOS Genetics. A newly described species of nematode has lain in a petrified squirrel burrow since the late Pleistocene. In 2002, the fossil was excavated and placed in storage until 2018. Then it began to be studied, revealing hundreds of frozen nematodes. After adding the medium and placing at room temperature, some of the nematodes began to show signs of life. Scientists have bred ancient nematodes for more than 100 generations. Then, scientists led by experts from the Max Planck Institute in Germany took a closer look at them and conducted a genome analysis, which resulted in the discovery of a new species, Panagrolimus colomynsis. The world of science does not know many creatures that would be able to enter a state of cryptobiosis in response to harsh environmental conditions. Among them are e.g. tardigrades, rotifers or just nematodes.
This change of state requires a combination of genetic and biochemical pathways that enable the organism to survive for extended periods of time in extreme conditions. Researchers compared the newly described species with another nematode that is willingly used in laboratory research. This is Kynorhabditis elegans. Comparative genomic analysis showed that the molecular toolkit for cryptobiosis in P. colomynsis and C. elegans as well as the biochemical mechanisms used by the two species to survive harsh conditions, are similar. Research shows that nematodes have evolved mechanisms that potentially allow them to enter the so-called the state of hidden or latent life, i.e. cryptobiosis for a period counted in geological time scales. The researchers used the latest radiocarbon dating technology. They applied them to plant material found near the creature and determined that the freezing period began somewhere between 45,839 and 47,769 years ago. This is a record when it comes to time spent in cryptobiosis. The team now wants to find out what role common genes found in both P. colomynsis and C. elegans play in cryptobiosis, and whether there is an upper limit to how long they can stay in this state. In lab experiments, the researchers forced the nematodes into anhydrobiosis, which is a type of cryptobiosis caused by a lack of water. These experiments were carried out on the model species C. elegans and on the newly described P. colomynsis. Once this was done, the team observed an increase in the production of a sugar called trahalose, which they believe may help protect nematode cell membranes from dehydration. The researchers then froze the nematodes at minus 80 degrees Celsius and found that drying improved the survival rate of both species. Nematodes that were frozen at this temperature without prior dehydration died immediately. The researchers concluded that the nematodes, equipped with molecular pathways to cope with arctic conditions, evolved to survive in these hibernating states for many thousands of years. This means that ancient species of nematodes, and possibly other creatures, may re-emerge when the permafrost recedes, and it will sooner or later.